Life. Some days you can't catch a break. I like stained glass windows. <laughs> Have it in your head that you have to save this girl, Lily. She needs my help. Oh. Other days, your heart is broken. You seem really nice, but I'm not interested in a personal relationship. I feel like a total dork. Bam! Blow one lousy multi-million dollar deal, and you want to dissolve the partnership. You want to stay together? Some days, you break everything. I am a walking disaster. You love animals. That's the most important thing. But in time, it all heals. Look, I know you're afraid of her, but lying I about- I don't have a mother. I just got a call from school. Lily never showed up. You can't run away from this, Lily. I mean, there's no magical place to return to. Oh, rise and shine, Sid, rise and shine. They should be here any moment. Well, now, darling, we've been over this before. Hurry up, get dressed, and comb your hair. You wouldn't want to give them a bad impression on the first meeting. Meeting? There they are! Ah! Oh, come in! Come in! Mother? Hmm? What's going on? Oh, darling, these are the Dillers, Harold and Gertrude, your new foster parents. Well, why would I need foster parents? Because I've given you up for adoption. Why? It's gotten a little crowded around here since you moved back. We could use the elbow room. You're giving me away for elbow room? I'm sure you'll enjoy Sydney as much as we have. She's a bit high strung at times, but she eats most of her vegetables and she keeps a clean room. We'll make sure she does. Harold? House rules. There'll be a quiz after supper. Oh, no problem. She's smart as a whip. I hope there's a section on dating. That's in the other book. Oh. Best go. Horses are hitched. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere with them. Now, Sid, I know they may seem a touch provincial, but they're good at heart. Mom. If you blow it with your first fosters, no one else will ever take you. Mother! <laughs> Close, but it's gotta be possible. It's gotta be. If you can get me again to Who's dad talking to? I haven't seen him this excited since that business with the orangutan. His travel agent. He's going somewhere? Newfoundland. Hey, Robbie, would you do me a favor and watch Hannah this afternoon? I have a meeting with Brady since we kissed off the American International Foods deal. We have to get together and re-strategize. Anything I can do? Yeah, you could watch Hannah this afternoon. No, I meant to re-strategize. Don't forget, I got a 5% interest in this venture, and it's not like I don't have connections in this town. Well, right now I need a connection to a babysitter. OK. Hannah, you and I have a date later, OK? Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Dad, you going on vacation? Uh, field trip, actually, for a couple of days. I get to watch the birth of the harp seal pups. Oh, that sounds amazing. Oh, this is something I've been wanting to do for years. Don't worry about anything, Dad. We'll hold down the fort. Have a good time. Thanks, sweetie. I'm sorry about the short notice, kids, but these things aren't an exact science. I can only imagine. Uh, Rob, I've got Dr. Reston on call for any emergencies to come up downstairs. But would you come down? Let me give you some instructions to pass on to Heather. Sure. Wow. You look like you had a rough night. Tell me about it. I had this dream that Mom gave me up for adoption. What is that about? Oh, I have no idea. I mean, probably has something to do with this Lily stuff. How's she doing with her new foster parents? Oh, she's not happy. But it's only been a week. So what are you going to do about it? I'm staying out of it. Oh, yeah, that sounds like you. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> 
Hey, huh? who's your new friend? I don't know. She doesn't have a collar. But I don't think she's doing so good. She's a stray? Yeah. Where's Dr. Hansen? Uh, he had to go to Newfoundland for a couple days, but we got another vet covering. OK, what should we do? <laughs> we? I think you should drop that mud off at the animal shelter. I will not. OK, fine. I will make the diagnosis myself. Dad says that I have a sixth sense with animals. I'm sensing his hostility. Hello, Willa. How's that hip? Lousy. Any other complaints? No. I'm tired, dizzy from time to time, and my husband is still spending too much time at McCabe's saloon. Oh, I'll be sure and talk to McCabe next time I'm in the neighborhood. <laughs> Right now, I just want to concentrate on that dizziness. Uh, let's see, your vital signs are normal. Any fever lately, shortness of breath? No. Well, the dizziness could be caused by your pain medication, so we can try an alternative, see if we can eliminate the problem. But uh, what are you doing today? Anything special? No, I want to finish my book. Good. I want to keep you here for a couple of hours. Just want to run an EKG and a blood test, make sure you're not anemic. Fine. Oh, hey. If you see that nice young lady, will you please tell her that my niece loves that Bach CD? Back CD. Whoop, that's it. <laughs> Absolutely. Patrice, I need an EKG for Willa, and when we get a chance, spin a crib. Yeah, you bet. Hey, Hi. what are you doing here? Well, I had a free the first period, so I thought that I would come by and visit. Perfect timing. I was just examining Willa. She wanted me to thank you for your Beck suggestion. Oh. Her niece loved it. She reminds me of my grandma. Really? The one you used to live with? Yeah. I took care of her in her last year's when she had cancer. How are things going with the Gerwins? Oh, I didn't think they were going very well, but after dinner last night, they really surprised me. How's that? They said that I didn't have to work at a stationery store anymore and that I could come to work here. Really? I thought they had their hearts set on you working with them. Well, I guess they started to trust me. So is the job still open? Sure. When are you going to start? Tomorrow after school. All right, I'll see you then. I don't want to be late for my next class. It's biology. Might come in handy with my new job. It might. <laughs> supposed to be here at 11. I know, I'm sorry. Had a bit of a domestic problem. What happened? Yeah, my girlfriend and I had one of those long overdue talks. Is everything OK? Actually, we broke up. How could she do that? She didn't. I did. Why? I just know that she needs a 9 to 5 type of guy, and I realize that that's never going to be me. Well, hey, look, I know we were supposed to have this strategy meeting, but it obviously isn't a good time for that. Why don't we do it tomorrow? Oh, it's not like I didn't know the breakup was coming. And I don't know if I've told you this before, but I really love working with you, Johnny. You bring out the best in me. It's really sweet. It's true. In fact, you were in my dream last night. How'd I look? <laughs> well, you came into my room, no clothes on. You had that dream, too. Now you were dressed, but you did come in with a great idea. What was it? And you said, Brady, American International Foods is not the only fish in the sea. Let's get together a bunch of other food execs and have a tasting, and we'll find ourselves in the midst of a bidding war. Wow. So I took your advice, and this morning I put together a list of potential candidates. All we need now is a place to hold the tasting. How about O'Neill's? Willa, you all right? Oh, yeah. I just had another one of those dizzy spells, but she's gone now. Oh, huh. have you ever passed out? Well, I had a few too many at my sister's wedding 30 years ago. No, no, I mean, have you ever had a blackout? Nope, none of those. Hmm. Well, your EKG shows an old myocardial infarction, which was the heart attack you had in 93. Other than that, your blood count is normal. Come with me. Margaret, hmm? I'd like to order a neurologic evaluation. Okay. Get her a CAT scan for tomorrow. And uh, you come see me as soon as you're done. You're the doctor. All right. Thank you. Dr. Hansen. Alex, what's up? I have some bad news. The Gerwins called over the weekend and said they couldn't keep Lily. What? On Friday night, Mrs. Gerwin came home and found her 14-year-old Sam sharing a cigarette with her. 
It's a bit of an overreaction, don't you think? Well, it's not only that. With three other kids to think about, they just don't think it's a good fit. So they decided to cut their losses. So that's why they let Lily take the job here at the clinic. So what happens now? She comes back to the group home, and we start trying to find her new fosters. How long will that take? Weeks? Unfortunately, there's nobody available right now, so probably longer than that. So you can't find anybody who's willing to take Lily now? Not unless you're thinking about it. <sighs> For some breakfast, Robbie? I'll pass. I actually have to go out, look at an apartment. You moving? No, it's just this house sitting gig. This girl I know is going to Vermont for snowboarding season, needs someone to watch her bats. Her cats? No, bats. What can I tell you? The girl's got issues. You know. Anyway, the place is a little cave like, but it's free, so until my ship comes in. Speaking of your ship, Brady and I are looking for a place to hold our chowder tasting. I was wondering if you could get us into O'Neill's. Shouldn't be a problem. When? Oh, we'd prefer a weekend, but we'll take anything we can get. Consider it done. Thanks. Hey, hey, where are you guys going? I gotta go feed Hannah. And the back girl waits for no man. I need to talk to you both for a second. It's important. Look, I know I said I wouldn't get involved, but I just found out that Lily's foster parents don't want her anymore. Huh. I know. She's only 16, and she's been bounced around for the last few years. I think if she goes back to a group home now, she might just run away again. So what do you have in mind? Well, I was thinking that she could, you know, stay here for a while. It would just be for a few days, a week tops, just to get her through the transition, get her over that hump. You're absolutely right. What? Yeah, sending this kid back to the state would set her back years. Wow. Joni, thank you. Hey, I just scored an in-house babysitter. What do you think, Robbie? Actually, there's something that I didn't tell you guys. The Batgirl gig wasn't just a fluke. I found her through an ad in the personals. I was looking to get out of the attic. Why? I just felt really weird up there since Danny left. Mm. So if Lily wants it, she's welcome to it. Great. Thank you, guys. You're going to run this by Dad? Sure. Yeah, I'll give him a call if I can find him. You can just leave him a message. Or you could just do what I always do. Tell him after it's too late. <laughs> say anything to guilt you into this. No, actually, I was thinking about it for a while. Well, normally the agency would frown on a temporary situation, but in Lily's case, we're making an exception. I've talked to our administrator, and he agrees we need to get her grounded as quickly as possible, even if it means she'll have to be moved again. What do we do now? I'll issue you a temporary provisional license. And since we've already worked together, I can vouch for your home environment and expedite the background check with the attorney general. When can I take her home? Tonight. Really? Mm-hmm. I'll talk to Lily and explain the Gerwin's decision, but it's best for you if you make the actual invitation personally. Yeah, I think so, too. Is that it? This may not go as smoothly as you think. She probably feels unworthy. That's so sad. It's her reality, and you should be prepared for it. Come on, sweetheart. Just take a little sip of water. Still no change. Why isn't he drinking? He's a she. I knew that. Mm -hmm. She should really have a name. Really? Well, what do you like? Hope. Hope? Mm -hmm. Like, hope she makes it? Very funny. It's too on the nose. You see, if, if I were going to pick it, I'd go with something snappier like uh, Nikki or Jesse or maybe even Marilyn. No. Although hope does have a ring. OK. Robbie, I'm so worried about her. She's so listless, and listen to her panting. We're in over our heads. Try Dr. Reston again. Okay. I have to get to work. All right, I'll check back with you later. Hope, are you pregnant? Oh, you're gonna like this. I have something special for you this week, Mr. O'Neill. We just got a very small shipment of Voskia vodka. Drink of the Cossacks. 152 proof. Ooh. 
Who's gonna drink that? Well, it's for warriors only, but uh, it's a real conversation piece. I can offer you six bottles at 30% off list price. 50%. Ooh, we'd be losing money. Who are your boss? I'm gonna call my boss. Good idea. See what I just did, Robbie? I've been searching for that vodka for months. I got this guy convinced that I'm doing him a favor. Biggest challenge in life, you turn negatives into positives at discount prices. Well, speaking of positives, my sister Joni made a spectacular clam chowder. Her business partner wants to audition it here. No. No one's piggybacking on my hard-earned reputation. Your sister's chowder becomes a hit. Hey, I'll be the first to dish it out. Okay. Hey, Lily. Hi, Dr. Hanson. Oh, sorry I'm late. Something came up. Seems like things aren't working out with the girl ones after all. I'm sorry about that. That's okay. I'm fine, I guess. I wasn't that wild about being there anyway, but did kind of like the kids. You want to go somewhere and talk? Sure. Where? The coolest room in the place. Come on. Helen and I are the only two who know about this. So now you're part of a very select club. <laughs> Welcome to the bell tower. Wow. Cool. Yeah, I think so. Um, mind if I smoke? Actually, yes, but thanks for asking. Lily, I know what happened with the Gerwins today came out of the blue. I'm sorry. But I was thinking maybe you'd like to stay with me for a couple of days. Oh, I don't know. I'm not your typical family. One dad, no mom, three grown kids, a baby. Dad's patients seem to pop up anywhere, anytime. Could be exciting. <laughs> what do you say? Sure. Oh, why not? Good. There is one rule. No smoking. I knew there had to be a catch. <laughs> so, Lily, it tells me you come from Oklahoma originally. Yeah. How'd you manage to land in Providence? I hitched a ride with a trucker. I wanted to go to Florida, but this was as far as he was going. Why Florida? It sounded good at the time. <laughs> So, uh, how's your new school? Um, school, school. Well, some things never change, huh? Well, uh, another great dinner, Joni. I'd love to hang, but I gotta run Batgirl to the airport. Oh, that's too bad. I thought we could watch a movie together tonight. Uh, I'll take a room, Jexus. I rented a room with a view. Have you seen it, Lily? I've never heard of it. Oh, it's really a great movie. It's about a young girl who moves to Italy and falls in love. Yeah, in like the 15th century with a completely boring English family. He's wrong. It's great. And it's the 18th century? 19th century. They used to make me watch Sound of Music. Oh, and don't let them talk you into Scrabble. Sid makes seven-letter words. Uh, Tony, are you going to make the popcorn? Uh, you know what? i got to put Hannah down. Why don't you guys start without me, OK? So, Lily, you know, if you're not into watching the movie, it's, I just have a lot of homework. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's okay. We'll do it on the weekend. Come in. Hey. I'm going to bed. I just want to make sure you had everything you needed. Yeah, I'm fine. Rob, um, I'll wake you up in the morning. Oh, don't worry about it. I, I get up early. Night, then. <laughs> Night, Dr. Hansen. Lily, you can call me Sid. Okay. Good night.
Who's down there? Lily, is that you? It's just me. Oh, God, Mother, you scared me. I thought we had a thief in the house. Are you sure you don't? What are you talking about? Sid, how could you invite that girl into our home after the heist she pulled down at the clinic? She was put up to that. She's a good kid down deep. Are you sure? I mean, how do you know that she's not out on the town at this very moment? Well, she finally has a chance to turn her life around. Forget it, Sid. She can never measure up. We don't know that. You should have seen her face when you hit her with that foreign film. The one set in the 14th century? 19th. Whatever. It was over her head. You're better to have chosen some teenage horror flick, something with a little sex and violence and runaway hormones. Mm -hmm. If you try to reform her, she's going to rebel. And then you're in big trouble. How it started? Your young friend left a burning cigarette near some old magazines. No structural damage, right? Uh, no. It's a good thing you had that fire extinguisher handy. I don't think anybody's gonna want to stay up here for a while. Just leave a window open and the fan running. Let it air out for a few days. Thank you. Still haven't heard from Lily? Obviously, an accident. I just can't believe she took off again. Well, don't beat yourself up over it. No, Alex warned me. I knew it wasn't going to be easy. Have you called Dad yet? Yeah, he was out to sea with the Seal Pup Brigade. I left a message telling him to call home. Hey, was that a fireman that just walked through the living room? Yeah, there was a little flare up in the attic. Evidently, Lily left a cigarette burn. So much for Sid's idea of a house guest. Oh, thank God I wasn't here. You know, Dad would have blamed me. Yeah, luckily we can blame Lily. Hey, Sid, what'd you expect? The kid was gonna clean our act up overnight? Very sensitive. What? It's not like I torched the place. Hang on a sec, okay? Dr. Hansen, Will is on the phone. I'll just tell her I'll call her back. She said she passed out this morning. Oh. Will, it's Dr. Hansen. How long were you out? I want you to come in right away. I don't care. Right away. All right. I'm sorry, Dr. Hansen's gone until tomorrow. Oh, hi, Mrs. Crankwell, mother of Cornelius the Schnauzer. Oh, wait, Mrs. Crankwell, are we talking one cupcake or a multiple cupcake ingestion? Oh, dear. Um, you should call Dr. Reston at, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hi, um, 555-0153. Oh, you're welcome, and and wish Cornelius a speedy recovery. Okay. Hello. Oh, <gasps> Dr. Hansen, I'm sorry. <sighs> what are you doing back? Oh, the seals weren't cooperating, so we decided to pack it in. How's everything here? Everything is fine, except for Hope. Hope. She is a stray that I picked up a couple days ago. I am so sorry, Dr. Hansen. I just couldn't leave her on the side of the road. Heather. You are a girl after my own heart. Well, well, what have we here? This is a very pregnant lady. I knew it. How soon until she has her pups? Well, yeah, she's pretty malnourished. Could be any day. I think all we can do is keep an eye on her and let nature take its course. I tell you what, we can get one of those big boxes and set it up out in the back. 
But first, I want to go upstairs and unpack. Oh, okay. Just don't open the attic door. They're still airing it out. Airing it out? Because of the fire. The what? The fire. The fire? Yes. Hey, Robbie, can you sign for the special Voskia Vodka O'Neill order? Yeah, I just need to call him to get his approval. You can't. He went hunting for the day. Said he won't be back till tomorrow. Tomorrow? You sure? Yeah, why? I was just thinking of having some people over for dinner. Private party? Yeah. Business venture, actually. Hey. Hello. Come on in. Uh, where's Hannah? Uh, down for her nap. You want some coffee? Sure. So uh, I made some preliminary calls. Uh, Binghamton Foods is very interested, as are Framley and Salt Bay. They're totally hot to try. Great. I talked to Robbie. You said we're on at O'Neill's for the weekend. OK, great. I've got plenty to do this week. i got to get the rest of my stuff out of Carla's place. You need any help? No, I don't think that would be such a good idea. One look at you would only confirm her theory. What theory? She thinks we're having an affair. Why does she think that? Well, you know, I guess I talk about you all the time and, mm. you know, women. <laughs> women. And she knows how closely we work together. And it's not like we haven't had the opportunity. Right. I, I, assuming we were ever going to. Yeah, a lot of people think that, you know, it's crazy to mix business and pleasure. That's a theory, all right. I mean, I, I actually think it's OK as long as you know, the two people are mature enough to handle it. Maturity. Key ingredient. Yeah. What are you guys doing? Uh huh? We should be getting ready for the chowder tasting. Uh, it's this weekend. Not anymore. We gotta do it tonight. Tonight? tonight? Yeah, I got a slot open for you at 6 o'clock. Can you handle it? Yeah, I'll, I'll get on the telephone. I'll um, start start cooking. Great. Hey, Willa. So you had a little incident, huh? Yeah. Do you remember what you were doing just before you passed out? I was getting ready to feed the canary, I think. Well, your CT scan came out normal. But I'd like you to stick around for a little bit just to make sure we don't have a recurrence. I'll be right back, OK? Thank you. Hey, how's Willa? She doesn't look so good. I'm going to keep her here and run a few more blood tests. I'll take care of it. Uh, you have a visitor. Who? Oh. Lily. She's up in the tower. Thanks. Well, I don't have any excuses. I'm sorry. Damn it, Lily. I trusted you. I invited you into my home. I asked you one thing, one thing not to smoke in the house. I didn't mean to cause a fire. Oh, people don't mean to do that. It happened because you were selfish and thoughtless. Why did you leave the house? I needed to get some air, so I took a long walk, and when I came back, the fire truck was there. I just couldn't face you. So you ran away? I didn't know what else to do. You need to stop running away from your problems, Lily. You don't know what it's like. You're right, I don't. But I'm trying to help you, and you keep screwing it up. Dr. Hansen, we need you quick. It's Willa. O2, oh, 60, Ellen? She was complaining of dizziness and she just went out. Did you get an EKG? It's coming. How are you doing on the IV? IV's in. She's rating down to 40. It could be a heart block. Slow idioventricular rhythm. It's a heart block, get all right. Get the crash cart. I need an amp of atrophy. We need to get her to the hospital immediately. Call 911. In the meantime, I've got a pacer. All we have is this temporary transvenous pacemaker. Perfect. Prepper. Syringe. Here you go. EP's 90 over 60. O2 sats at 96. All right. Guide wire. Wire. Introducer, right here. Let's take another reading on it. I got it. Pull it. Pacer wire, it's right here. What's the rate? That's it. Okay, I'm going into the heart. We need a fluoroscope. Do we have one? Just keep an eye on the EKG. It should confirm my position. Still low. We're still low. Right, connect the pacer wire to the box. We're connected. Set rate at 90. Set at 90. OK, we're almost there. Here. It looks good so far. I've got capture. Got a rhythm. <laughs> nice work, Sid. <laughs> Anybody 
anybody home? Just me. Dad, what are you doing here? Actually, I live here. I suppose you know what happened. I do now. Sid, I've always told you kids this was your house. But I can't understand how you could bring that girl here without even the courtesy of running it by me. I, I didn't think you'd mind. Well, I do mind. This kind of thing obviously impacts the entire family. This should have been a family decision. I'm sorry, Dad. I owe you an apology. Yes, you do. Needless to say, I will pay the insurance deductible. And then it's over? I don't think so. feeling my chest is a little sore but my hip at least on hurt mm. we had to replace the transvenous pacemaker with a permanent one but this one should keep you running strong dr. Hansen I have a confession to make what's that you remember you asked me if I'd had any blackouts yes well I lied I had one right before I fell down and broke my hip mm. well you had an irregular heartbeat so you weren't getting enough blood to your brain but I can guarantee you, you won't have any more blackouts. That is, of course, unless you lie to me again. Get some rest. Hey, thank you. You're welcome. Is she going to be OK? Yeah, she's going to be fine. Can I come visit her? I'm sure she'd love the company, but not until tomorrow. You want to go talk somewhere? Let's go. Lily, I know you care or you wouldn't be here. But sometimes you have to translate those feelings into responsibility. I've never really been very good at that. Nobody is at first. I can't believe you've ever done anything irresponsible in your life. One time or another, everybody has. It's part of growing up. What did you do? My sophomore year in high school, I borrowed my dad's new Volvo. Borrowed? OK, I stole it. <laughs> I drove to Boston with my friend Jane Schmerler. I went shopping at Filene's, ate at Durgan Park, had the swan ride, everything. It was a great time. What happened when you came back to Providence? I was home free. Lucky you. And until I pulled into the garage and smashed the headlight. My mom came out to survey the damage. What did she say? <laughs> First she laughed and she said, better you than me. And then she got very serious and said, just wait till your father gets home. And I was scared. I said, are you going to tell him? She said, no, you are. Ugh. I would have rather had a brain hemorrhage than make that apology. But I did it. And based on my experience, there's only one thing I can tell you. What's that? Get it over with. Basquiat vodka, drink of the Cossacks. Robbie, what is that for? For play. Robbie, this is serious business. You can't be hitting on any of these women. Okay? Trust me, okay? A chowder this fantastic needs a setup. That's right. So we'll get them loose with a little Voskia. We'll serve them some of the can chowder. And then we'll knock their socks off with yours. Yeah. Looks like we got our first victim. Ready or not, here they come. Michael Wellington, CEO of Brockwood Foods International. Annual average sales, $400 million. Who's he? That's Skip Sneeringer, president of Seastone Foods. Controls the Canadian market. Mm. Who's she? <laughs> Francine Del Banco. She used to be Skip's main squeeze till he kicked her out of the company. Ouch. Now she's getting revenge by starting her own. Wow. Friendly bunch. Yeah. Fiercest competitors alive. Let's do it. Super sales time. <laughs> Do you think it'll be until Hope delivers? Hard to say, Heather. Just have to keep an eye on her. Do you want me to get that, Dr. Hansen? No, thanks. It's probably my insurance adjuster. You keep watch here. Okay. 
Lily. Hi, Dr. Hanson. Uh, can I talk to you for a minute? Come in. So you know about the fire? Yes, I do. Well, on the way over here, I was trying to come up with the right words, and I couldn't come up with them. I'm just so sorry. Hmm. Well, for someone who hasn't had much experience with this sort of thing, that was pretty good. What? The apology. It was direct, sincere. You didn't try to put a spin on it. You might have a real future in apologies. That's it? Well, there is one more thing you might consider adding. What? It'll never happen again. It'll never happen again. <laughs> Good, that's very comforting to hear. <laughs> Dr. Hansen! Oh! Come quick, it's happening, it's happening. Come on, Lily, we could use an extra pair of hands. Heather, I'll need some cotton balls, iodine, and gauze. Okay. Lily, there's some clean towels in that cabinet back there. Here we go. Yeah, I'm here. That uh, incubator should be set between 85 and 90 degrees. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. What do we do now? Uh, we just sit back, let Hope do the work. Oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Puppy number one. Ordinarily, I never drink this time of day. And this is working out well, huh? I don't know, Robbie. They're getting pretty sloshed. Yeah. You want them to be clear-headed enough to make their bids. Yeah, they haven't even had the soup yet. Well, if it'll make you feel any better, I'll serve it right now. Yeah. Okay. like another little boy. He's a boy. He's hey, what's a boy. wrong? It doesn't look like he's breathing. What? Well, you're right. You're going to have to stimulate him to get him breathing. How? Hold him. Rub him. Mm -hmm. And every few seconds, blow gently into his nose. Good. Rub. Oh, come on. And blow. Good. Rub. It's now blow. Okay. Good. Rub him. Now blow. Good. He's breathing. <laughs> Very good, Lily. Okay, Heather, we're going to have to cut the umbilicus. Here we go. Tie that piece of string about an inch above the pup. Okay. Tight. Okay, now cut. Okay. Perfect. Okay, I, I, I got good. it. I got it. Okay, Lily, put him in the incubator. Is that it, Dr. Hansen? Yeah, I think so. Way to go, team. Six for six. All right! <laughs> Jody, it's not that bad. Sure, sure. For you, maybe. At least we don't have to clean up the whole mess like Robbie. Serves him right. Getting everybody sloshed. <laughs> we'll be fine. Don't worry. Pretty, you're a great salesman, but we just blew it with Mom's chowder, and I don't know how to cook anything else. I know. Well, then why are you saying we'll be fine? Because I don't mean professionally. How do you mean? You want me to tell you, or should I show you? Missouri. <laughs> what does that mean? It's the show me state. Don't you dare. 
Who is that? You want me to run upstairs and find out? Would you mind? I want to stay close to these pups. I think our little runt here is having trouble eating. Hey, Lily. Guess you're still here. Yeah, I was downstairs helping your dad. With what? Birth of puppies. So I guess you got to talk to him. Yeah. It was hard at first, but I feel better now. Really? No. I feel worse about the fire and all. I guess I'm going to have to get used to that apologizing thing. A few more days in the Hanson house and you'll have it down pat. You mean you still want me to stay? Yes. I just think this time I should run it by my dad. <sighs> hey, Sid, when'd you get home? I just walked in. I heard the good news. Mm, we should have been here an hour ago. <laughs> it was so awesome. So cute. Is he going to be OK? Yeah. Just have to be hand fed for the next 48 hours or so. But I think between the three of us, we ought to be able to handle that. I'll take the day shift, and you can have the night shift, and Lily gets the sunrise assignment. Sunrise? Well, you'll be closest. You'll be on the couch. But well, you're not going to be able to get into the attic for a few days. So what do you say? You think you can handle it? I'd like to try. Good enough for me. Here you go. He's hungry. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs>